easy multiplication example. Let's say we had 5 times 3, which we know is 15. But let's say that one of my factors was missing. My 3 was missing. How would I be able to find 3, knowing what you know about multiplication? Ah, you also know that 15 is really about division. 15 divided by 5. would be 3. So, huh, maybe division has something to do with finding missing numbers and multiplication. Let's try it with a different example. 32 times P is 128. So, we just saw that we could use division to find the missing numbers and multiplication. So, let's use that. We're going to start with 128, and that's going to be our Dividend. Remember, the dividend just sits there, so it goes on the inside. And 32 is going to be doing the heavy lifting here. So here we go. 32 times what is 128? And it looks like that is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. There we go. Our answer is 4. But let's check it to be sure. 32 times 4 is 128. So there you go. There's how we can use division to figure out missing numbers and multiplication. Pretty simple. Let's say we have the number, let's say 10 divided by 2 equals 5. And if I wanted to cover up the 10, how would I go ahead and find that number using the two numbers that I have? I know that you can see that 5 times 2 is 10. So we can use the opposite. We can use multiplication to help us find our missing number. Well, let's try it with a slightly bigger example. So let's say that we had my unknown is going to be the letter T. Make it the letter T. Make it straight. There we go. T, and we're going to divide the T by the number 6, and that's going to equal 14. Same kind of problem. When we're trying to find our dividend, we can use multiplication. So let's do it. 14 times 6, 6 times 4 is 24, 6 times 1 is 6, plus 2 is 8, so we have 84. But let's just check it to make sure. What's 84 divided by 6? 84 is our dividend, so it goes on the inside. Our divisor is 6, so that'll go on the outside. 6 into 8 goes one time. And 6 into 24 goes four times. So there you go. There's the right answer. So we used multiplication to find the missing number, which in this time was our dividend. But what if we wanted to switch this around and we, wanted to, we had a missing divisor? What would we do in that case? Well, let me give you some numbers. So I've got the number 224 divided by, we're going to use the letter S, that's our missing number, and we're going to say that the quotient is 32. So how would we find it this time? We wouldn't use multiplication. We actually would need to use division here. We can say, well, what's 32 into 224? And that'll give us an answer. So let's do it. 32 into 224. And our missing number is 32 times, let's see what that would be. Mm, I think it would be, I like to do my math over to the side if I don't know it. It could be, would it be 6, 7? Let's try 7. We think it's going to be too much. 7 times 2 is 14. 7 times 3 is 21. And 1 is 22. Look at that. So 7 times 32 will give me 224. So this time we use division to find the divisor. So when we have a missing number in division, we can either use multiplication, if that missing number is the dividend, or we can use division if that missing number is the divisor. Just depends on what you're looking for. 
And that's it. Pretty simple. See you soon. Bye.